Okay, so today I thought I'd show you how I change Cricut Bumblefoot dressing and what I do for Bumblefoot. So usually for a hen with Bumblefoot I flip them onto their back in my, on my lap, um, but Cricut gets all panicked about that. So we've worked hard and she allows me to just lift up one foot now, so pretty awkward, but we make it work. So the supplies I use are this Prid ointment with a Q-tip. You can get it at Walgreens. And then I take cotton rounds, and I actually split them in half and just use half for each dressing um, because they're a little bit thinner that way. And then a little bit of vet wrap. So, first thing I'll do is show you Cricut's Bumble. And I thought it'd be good to show you on Cricut. She actually has a decent sized bumble. Oh, yeah, so when I'm rewrapping, I kind of just get all the, the dirt crumbs off that get in there. The first time I do it, I soak, give her a foot soak for about five minutes. And then I'll kind of re-soak occasionally, but I don't do it every day. <laughs> and then I change her dressing every one to three days um, once with the Pred ointment. And then when the bumble looks like it's about to fall off, then I try to do another soak. Um, and after <clears throat> the bumble, another warm water soak for her little paw. Gotcha. So that's the thing, you just use that little plastic dishwashing basin? Yeah, I have a little Rubbermaid tub. And I just fill it partway with warm water and put her little foot in. Some people use Epsom salts. You can do with or without. Mm. Um, but I've heard from some people that soaking in Epsom may not be the best for the hen, so I actually just do warm water usually. Mm -hmm. um, and then after the bumble's fallen off, I use a little bit of antibacterial ointment, like a triple antibiotic, and I do the same exact dressing, just do that for a couple of days, and then I let it go dressing free. So, what we're gonna do, I try to have everything ready so that the hens, um, things go as quickly as possible. So I make a little pizza shape. I'm just gonna tuck it in my shorts so it stays. And then I take, just need to take a little bit more, a little wad of this Prid ointment. It's pretty lovely looking stuff. All right, Cricut, get a good balance on. And once you smear this on, you just wanna cover the bumble. Once you smear that on, you get that on, and you hold on to it for dear life because otherwise you end up covered in prid. And then I try to start my dressing. Whoop, you're doing so good, Cricket. Kind of up towards the back of the heel of her foot. I got my finger in there. And then you just wrap it like a ninja. Oh, I know. We'll give you a little break. We'll give you a little break. She doesn't like the wrapping part very much. And she's overheating. We're gonna try to get through this. Yes, we are. Oh, you're doing so good. So good, my love. <laughs> very cooperative for Instagram. Very cooperative, yes. Very cooperative. Okay, just a few more seconds, Cricket. And you can kind of try to tuck with one hand. This is always easier with them on their backs, but Cricket is a bit of an exception. Almost done. And then you want to crimp the vet wrap down real good. Not so it's too tight, but just so that it sticks. Because otherwise they preen it off of them. And then, that is how you change a bumble. You did so good. Can I give her some sunnies? Sure. You did so good. Rewards. <laughs> okay. <laughs> good girl. All right. I'll try to show you the um, bumble foot again after it's fallen off when I do a back, uh, antibacterial ointment on it so you can see the difference. Good job, Cricket. Good job. Bye. Where are your feathers go? I really wrap it 
and kind of poke it down, squeeze it down. Squish it so it sticks? Yeah. Yeah. And because they bring it off pretty good, so then they look like they have a trail of toilet paper. <laughs> it's really funny. You did so good! And then I cover the print because sometimes they've also jumped in it. <laughs> oh, you put the lid back on.